Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, if you notice something off about me, you guys, I'm really, really sick. I can't even believe I'm up here doing a video, but I can't rest, I can't sleep, I might as well do a video, and the show must go on, right? <laughs> anyway, yeah, I've been really sick, but I'll get into that in a minute. Today's video is a requested video by Jacqueline. She wanted to know what bag is my best day-to-day -day bag knocking around town and why? Okay, so I thought that was a great question, but I thought I would add a little more to it, make it a little more in-depth. I'm going to go into my best spring and summer bag, daily bag, fall and winter, my best date night bag, and also my best travel bag. And then I can kind of review them as I go. So this video will be helpful. And also, I'll be covering Jacqueline's request. So if you want to see what bags I choose for my best day, date, <laughs> for my best day bag, date night bag, and travel bags, stick around. All right, guys. Let me just tell you, I started getting sick. This is Tuesday, and I normally try to upload on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and then again on the weekends. So I started getting sick Saturday. I started coughing, and then Sunday, it just went downhill, you guys. I got up for a while, I went back to bed, and I tried to get ready. We're, we were gonna go see a movie, and I just couldn't. I, I just didn't have it in me, and I told Keith, I have to lay down for a while. Let's go to the four o'clock. He said, okay. Then it came to about three o'clock. He said, are we going? And I was like, I can't go. I am so sick. And Sunday was terrible, you guys. I spiked a temp, and it just kept going up and up. I spiked a temp 102.5, and I was just, I was out of it completely on Sunday, and then yesterday, Keith took me to the doctor. They did a COVID test. I don't even know the results yet, you guys. We live in Banjo land, okay? Why don't they have a rapid test there at the clinic? Don't ask me. Anyway, I did a rapid test at home. It said negative. Keith said, maybe you check too soon. So anyway, they've done a test and I'm waiting. I've got my phone right here, waiting for the results. I don't know if it's COVID. She said it could be the flu. Anyway, <laughs> but here's what happened. So I got up in the middle of the night to use the restroom. I remember getting up and when I got in there, I felt sick and I felt really sick and that's all I knew. I, I felt clammy and kind of that feeling you get when you're going to pass out, you know, dizzy and clammy. Anyway, Keith said he heard a loud bang so loud that it woke him up. And he said he ran in there and it scared him to death. I had sat down on the commode, you guys. <laughs> I had sat down on the commode. I mean, it's not funny, but it kind of is now. And I guess I started passing out and I fell backwards like that on the commode. And when I did, I hit my head really hard on the glass shower. And he said he heard it and he went running in there and he said, there I was. And he said, I was quivering all over. He said, I was gurgling and mumbling. And he said, the way I looked, it literally looked like I had broken my neck the way I was laying and it scared him to death. And Keith's not really the real emotional, you know, he's not that type. He's always really calm, but he said it scared him to death. He was afraid to move me. He kept calling me. I didn't respond. He, he said he got me and he laid me in the floor and was checking me out. And I kind of remember waking up in the floor. I didn't know what had happened. And that's all I remember about that incident. Keith said that he uh, got me up and helped me to bed and put me back in bed and made sure I was okay, but I don't remember any of that, you guys. I only remember a brief second being in the floor and my panties were down around my knees. <laughs> you guys, I, we've laughed about it because Keith said, I'm so glad that you fell backwards. He said, as hard as you fell, he said, if you had fallen forward, you could have broken your nose or busted a tooth out. <sighs> but anyway, you guys, I had two shots steroids, cough medicine, 
inhalers. <laughs> I'm, like right now, I'm not feeling that great. But we're going to, the show is going on, okay? I am dedicated to you guys. <laughs> I really feel better coming up here and spending time with you guys because I have watched videos, trying to catch up on my friends, and I, I can't sleep. So, might as well do a video. Okay, I hardly ever do this, but I brought my scent of the day up here, you guys. I did take a bath, and I fixed up the best that I could for you guys. Put on a little mascara, a little lipstick, and some perfume. So anyway, Gucci Flora is my scent of the day. Okay, so <laughs> I am no scent expert. I don't have a nose like Winnie BLV. She's got a nose like a freaking hound dog. Her and, oh Lord, I'm in a group message, me and Autumn, Winnie and Dawn and Gwenny and Devin. And when they start talking scents, I mean Dawn... Dawn and Winnie, they just go over my head. Like, I don't know, what the hell. It's like a whole nother language, scent language, I guess. But anyway, so <laughs> I had to look up the notes because if I were to just describe it, I would say it smells like a, a light, fresh floral scent that drives down into a powdery, light, fresh floral scent. <laughs> That's how... That's how I would describe it. So, the notes are citrus, peony, rose, pink pepper. What the hell is pink pepper? How am I supposed to know if I'm... Oh, I, I definitely smell the pink pepper, okay? <laughs> Sandalwood and patchouli. I'm very familiar with patchouli, you know. I kind of have that hippie inner spirit, so I'm really familiar with that. Roses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It just smells like floral like a floral citrusy scent, and that's what it is. And I think it's a great daytime scent and a spring and summer scent. I don't think this would be a evening scent or a winter scent, but it's a very fresh, light, crisp scent that dries down into a fresh, light, crisp scent. <laughs> so that's my take. How'd I do, Winnie and Dawn? Pretty good? Yeah? All right, so that is my scent of the day. All right, let's get into the video, you guys. So the first... Uh, bag that I'm going to show you is my everyday knock around bag. Not every day because I change up several times a week. I used to change up once a week, then I thought twice a week, and now I just change up whenever I feel like it. But I always do change up on Sundays for some reason. I guess to start a fresh new week with a new bag. But anyway, I'll show you the bag I'm carrying because it's definitely on the spring and summer rotation. All right, the first bag that I'm gonna show you is my bag of the day. I I was gonna take it to the movies Sunday, and then I used it yesterday, <laughs> going to the doctor, and it was raining, and of course it has very light vachetta, and I've had it for a while, but it's still very light, so I had to put it under my jacket and make a run for it. <laughs> I love it, you guys, and I had someone ask me recently, how do I keep my Vachetta clean? I've never had a problem with my Vachetta. I've never had color transfer. I have three pieces of Azure, okay? I have this one, I have my Artsy, and I also have a cosmetic case. Never have I had any transfer or any problems or even yellowing. When I get my bags, <clears throat> the first thing I do is I spray them with Apple Guard. I protect the leather and the Vachettas. Vachettas? <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Fever. <laughs> I think it's going to my brain. Okay. But anyway, guys, this bag was made in France. Score. Not that it really matters. I'm not really one that cares, but I don't know. For some reason, we always think that's a big deal. But anyway, you guys, <clears throat> I do use Apple Guard. I spray my bags and I spray them really well. One time, I spray them one time, I let them dry completely, and then maybe in a couple hours I'll come back and do it again. I do it outside, and then I do it once a year. And I have never had problems. Now, I've had this bag for a little while. I don't really know how long I've had it, to be honest with you, but I love it. I didn't really think I was a speedy girl because in the past I had a speedy 35, you guys. That thing was huge. It was beautiful, and I sold it to one of my beautiful 
subscribers and really good friends. I hope you're loving your bag. And I enjoyed it for many years, but I'm more of a smaller, uh, um, speedy girl. <laughs> I'm, uh, okay, I'm more of a smaller speedy girl and I do not like a speedy bandolier. Blech. I don't like that strip. It just ruins it. This is classic and I love it and it's a forever bag. But anyway, Apple Guard, that's how I take care of it and I reapply about once a year, usually in the spring. It's just what I do. I didn't have it last summer, so I've used it a lot this summer and it has a you can put so much inside of it and it's just a great you know everyday bag knocking around town running errands going to the grocery store it's a great bag so this is one of my favorites and one that I will enjoy many years to come with any azure pieces or any light bags that I have I would never put on a dark denim jacket or dark jeans or anything dark that had never been washed several times I mean, I love Apple Guard, I trust Apple Guard, but you should take precautions. Definitely take precautions with your light colored bags. Now, this bag is one that almost left my collection and one of my subscribers had put down a deposit on it and she really wanted it and I wanted her to have it <laughs> until I got cold feet. And she was so sweet about it. Hi, Karen. And I, I just, I told her, I think I'm going to regret it. But if I ever do decide to sell it, she would get first dibs on it. But I'm so glad I kept it, you guys. Look at the beautiful patina. I've had this bag for years. I have no idea how long I've had this bag. For years. And look at it. Look at the beautiful honey patina. Now, I love honey patina. I don't like that black, gnarly patina. I just call it dirt because that's what it is you guys it's just nasty <laughs> but look at that beautiful pleat autumn beckman spin and i have this beautiful little coach charm on there the little pair i just thought that was so cute and this is definitely a bag that i had sitting on the shelf for a while and i started reaching for it you guys and fell madly in love all over again we're in love yes we are <laughs> I love you and you love me, don't you? You forgive me. Well, I mean, we almost broke up. We almost broke up, but I love her. I really do. And we have just such a beautiful patina on this bag. Look at the difference. Look at that. I love white patina. I do. And I love that treated leather that's on my, um, I don't know. I've got, a, I've got some Louis Vuitton bags. I can't think straight, you guys that has the treated leather that will always be like that. But this is gorgeous. I love this and I love this. And look at the, look at the difference. Okay, this one may look a little different because it's really old, you guys. But I'm telling you, Apple Guard, Apple Guard, Apple Guard. And be careful what you wear. And, you know, especially dark denims or blacks. I love it. The only downside to this bag, like I've always said, is the way the base is so big you do have to kind of be careful but it's very good squishy and I do have it stuffed with paper but it's squishy and you can squish it down like that like a big old pillow and on a plane ride it can be a pillow but yes we're back in love our love affair has continued all has been forgiven and I love this bag so this looks fabulous for its age. I would say it has to be close to 10 years, you guys. It has to be. But it's a fabulous bag, and it's one that I've reached for quite a bit this summer. And in doing so, yes, we rekindled our romance. My next bag is Chanel. This is the Chanel bag that I tend to reach for. One of the top Chanel bags that I tend to reach for. I tend to reach for it in the spring and summer. Actually, I reach for this bag all year round. And it's my beautiful small cocoa handle and this beautiful pink with the gunmetal hardware. I love this combination. And it is stuffed. It's got the long strap on the inside, all leather. Oh my gosh, you guys. I would love to add a black one. I do have a navy blue in the medium size. 
but I love the small size cocoa handle. That's my favorite. But again, I would never carry anything. I would never wear it with a dark black jacket that has not been washed several times. Denim. It's just the same rules that I follow. But I wear it with, you know, black clothes. I wear black clothes all the time. And this goes perfectly with it. But I do reach for this bag quite a bit in the spring and summer because it does have quite a large capacity on the inside and it will carry all of my essentials and a little bit more, not as much as the first two bags, but this is just a bag when I'm feeling a little bit bougie and I wanna go to Walmart with my Chanel small cocoa handle. <laughs> I live such an exciting life, you guys. You just wouldn't believe it. But <laughs> anyway, I do, there goes my voice. There goes my voice. Okay, so I do love to carry this bag really all year long, but this is also one of my top spring and summer bags. Okay, date night bags. We are to date night bags. And my voice is slowly failing me. <laughs> I gotta get through this, you guys. All right, the number one date night bag for me is my beautiful Wallet on Chain in the caviar. Oh my gosh, you guys, when I was in Houston with Autumn, I came this close to getting a beige wallet on chain at the Chanel store, and I wanted to think about it, and I ended up not getting it because I got the Fendi baguette in the hot pink. I don't regret it, but I still want the beige Wallet Unchained, because I love a Wallet Unchained. I use them a lot, because when Keith and I, like if we go on a casual date, we tend to sit at a bar and watch ball games or, you know, just have some beers and sit there and have, you know, uh, burgers and stuff. And I like to be able to just sit in my bag uh, right there beside me, and it doesn't take much space. I also used this bag last weekend when we went to his uncle's funeral and wore a black dress with this bag so it's very versatile and you guys this wallet on chain i mean it may look tiny but i just put a few cards in there in the card slots there and it holds everything that i need because i don't take a lot of makeup with me so my phone fits in there just just really nice i put a little small mirror in there a lipstick a lip pencil and bam because when I'm with Keith, I don't have to worry about a key fob or house keys or anything like that. So I use my Wallet Unchained a lot. So I have hinted to Santa Baby that maybe Santa will buy me a beige Wallet Unchained. So maybe he will, you guys. I've hinted. I've hinted because I know that the prices are just going up and up and up. And to be honest with you, you guys, I have not unboxed that much luxury this year because of the price increases, because you, you can't keep going at that rate. And, but a bag like this that I know I'm gonna use, I'm gonna get my use out of it, it's a classic. It'll always be in style. This will always be in style. When I pass it down to my daughter or my granddaughters, this classic Chanel Wallet Unchained in caviar will always be in style. So yeah, so yeah, I need the beige one. So yeah, this is my number one date night bag. Okay, two more bags to go. My favorite travel bag for spring and summer, and it's the one that I normally carry with me to the beach, is my Escal Neverfull in the MM size. Look at this beauty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love it. I wish I had more stuff in the... I almost... <laughs> okay. I wish I had more stuff in the Escal collection. I wish I had some pink pieces, but I don't. But I'm very happy to have this. And of course, the little pouch that goes with it. So when I go to dinner, I always take this with me and carry this to the beach. And if we're going shopping and I'm vlogging, if we're traveling and I'm vlogging, I will take this because I like to throw my camera and stuff inside there and tripod. But if we're just gonna go for a quick dinner or something or just 
roaming around shopping or whatever, I'll take my little pouch. But th this bag is the one that I really love to take in the spring and summer, in the spring and summer to the beach. And it's fabulous, you guys. I feel like Louis Vuitton really knocked it out of the ballpark when they came up with this collection. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, the travel section of this video would not be complete if I didn't bring out my Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the GM size. Now, I told you guys I don't use this for plane travel because this will not go under the seat because I pack it full and a few times when I had my older Neverfull that I sold that I regret. I don't want to talk about it, you guys. It's just a touchy subject. Anyway, I had stuffed it up there a few times and people don't care. They just like throw their crap on top of your nice bag. So this is not one that I take on a plane. I take a backpack. But this is the best car um, trip bag. Car trip bag? road trip road trip bag because i do take art things with me i have an art bag but i do like to throw a pencil case in there and you know just a few notebooks that i can just grab while we're in the car do a little sketching i'm always sketching so this is a great even overnight bag i've used it as an overnight bag i've never wanted a keep all i've been asked my daughter why don't you have a keep all i said i don't want that thing i mean for one thing I, but I don't pack light, you guys. I wouldn't be able to pick the thing up. <laughs> I like Vera Bradley. I really do. I'm a huge travel Vera Bradley person, okay? They last forever. I mean, you'll get sick of the, the patterns before they tear up. I mean, they don't tear up, you know? So, I'm a Vera ba Bradley traveler. And what am I? where am I going with this? Anyway, this is the best road trip bag or overnight bag ever. And so, yeah, I've used it quite a few times going down to the beach. And you can see it is getting a honey patina. Of course, this beautiful tassel is from Dress Up Your Purse, you guys. Check out, check out Dress Up Your Purse and use my code, you guys, because she has added some really nice things on there. I looked through her website, Melody's website, and she really has added some really nice things. So, I just, I love this long tassel on this GM never full. But anyway, this is a great travel bag. Of course, I have the pouch and I usually take it as well. I didn't bring it in here. Those are the bags that I use for those various occasions. Jacqueline, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I covered your question and more. All right, so that's all I really have. I was going to say, I always like to talk to you guys about new YouTubers, okay? I support new YouTubers. And I have a friend, Kevin Allen, and Winnie BLV has done a collaboration with him. He's so sweet. He's also a friend of Devin Christopher's. So if you love Devin, you're going to love Kevin. <laughs> we have quite a few Kevins running around here, don't we? All right. But anyway, <clears throat> the frog is back. You guys, please go, and I will link his channel below. <laughs> and... Subscribe to my friend. He's feeling a little bit down. He said that in his last video. He also said really sweet things about me that just touched my heart, you guys. Anyway, go subscribe to Kevin because he's feeling a little down. And I understand how he feels because when I was a new YouTuber, I've always had a slow growth, you guys. I can look at my numbers and I'll lose three and gain four and lose two. I usually always get a little ahead, but it's so slow. I don't know if the algorithm's doing it. YouTube, <laughs> who's doing this? Don't unsubscribe, you guys. I'll get better. I'll look better. I'll try harder. <laughs> but anyway, subscribe to Kevin. Show him the love. Tell him you came from my channel because we're going to do a collab next Saturday. We are going to show you guys our top five coach bags that we love to use, that we use most. So he recently did his coach collection. You might want to go over there and watch that in preparation for next Saturday, Saturday's video. Not this Saturday, but next Saturday on the 13th. So subscribe and subscribe to me. And I love you guys so much. And I hope when I get better, can do a better job because your girl hasn't slept okay <laughs> all 
I will see you guys in another video on another day. Mwah. Peace.